In this video, we take a look at how to create a church flyer like this for Easter or Good Friday. And this is coming up. Hey everybody, it's Innocent here and welcome to the channel. If you're new here, please hit on the subscribe button if you're old here. Thank you so much for showing up. So these are the resources that I'll be using. I'll leave a link in the description if you want to check it out. And these are the tests that I'll be using. I'll be performing a particular test effect in this one or I'll be adding some effect to test. So I've written all of them down. Be sure to download it if you want to get a full glimpse of whatever that I'm going to do. Now let's get into Photoshop and let's get started. So here inside Photoshop, I'm using Photoshop CS6 and this should work with any version of Photoshop. So I'll go to file and then new and then I'm going to create a 4x4 four four inch flyer because we're going to basically restrict this to the social media. So you go ahead and you click OK. Now let's first start off by setting up the background. So in setting up the background, the first thing we want to do is we want to add a solid color from this portion. Now you can go ahead and make use of any color at all, but this is the actual color that I'm deciding to use in this video. So I'll go ahead and click OK. Now let's go into our resource. We have a couple of things and the first one is the church background that I got. So what you do is you drag and drop it inside of Photoshop. Now this is quite very basic and very simple because the background is already made up. You don't really have to do a lot of things to it. You just have to position it to the side that you really want. Now after you add it, what you're going to do is you're going to right click and rasterize the layer and you're going to add a layer mask to it so we want to brush off this area that we don't want so that it can blend with the actual background so something like this and it's quite very simple now once we're done with that let's go back to the fill color over here and let's go into our resource we have one more abstract background there so what we do is we drag and drop it inside of photoshop and then we place it right on top of the background the solid background that we set now let's go ahead and right click and rasterize this as well go to the blending mode here and we're going to set this to soft light so it basically blends in with the background that we set and that'll be it for the background so we can group all of these ones and we can call that the background now after we're done with this we have a couple of pictures to use we have three pictures here but you can go with any number of pictures that you want to use so i'm going to use these three pictures here the first picture that i'm going to use is the main pasta so i'm going to bring him inside of photoshop and he is going to be at the very center if you remember i've used this man for almost two different flyers you can check them up in the description so i'm going to first position him over here i right click and rasterize the picture add a layer mask to it because the edges feels not so right so i'm going to brush off the edges a little bit like that so something like this and then let me go ahead and press ctrl t to open him up a little bit so you can press ctrl a and make sure that he's centered and bring him down a little bit like that and then we can go into the resource and then we bring in the second image so according to the positionings of these two it means that this person definitely has to go to the left side so i'll bring him in here and then i'm going to position him to the left side and then i'm going to make sure that he is underneath of the pasta i'll press ctrl c and i'm going to transform him up a little bit like that so somewhere around here and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to right click rasterize and add a layer mask to him as well and i'm going to brush him off as well so something like this now we can go back to the pastor's image and then we're going to change or we're going to switch our colors that is the black and white using x here and then we can brush off this area so that he doesn't really passes through the pasta i don't know if you're getting the point that i'm making so what i can do is i can bring him to this point a little bit or this side a little bit like that and i'm going to drag something like a ruler on top of him so that i'll get the exact position and i'm going to bring in the third image so that third image is also going to be under the pasta so i'll go and bring him here so i'll drag and drop him inside of photoshop like that and then i'll position him to the very right side 
from there we can transform him up a little bit so transform him up till his head gets to this particular point now you understand the reason why i had to bring in the guideline so i'm going to double click on that as well right click and rasterize the layer and then i'm going to add my layer mask and i'm going to brush him off but then remember you switch the color so switch it back and then you can brush this side as well so something like this and then we are good to go so let's go back to the pastor's image and let's try to bring here a little bit so that he doesn't pass through the pasta so what i'm going to do is i'm going to select the third image again and i'm going to push it up a little bit select the pasta you can take time to make these adjustments as if i decide to say everything here it is really going to take a very long time so once i am done with something like this i can then select all of them and then i'm going to group that and i can call it the main i'll press ctrl a and make sure that it is centered something like that and if you want to make adjustment ctrl t and transform it now once we're done with this we can go ahead and start adding our test which most of the work is at this particular place so what we're going to do is first we go for the test tool and i've already typed the test to save us a lot of time so i'm going to select my test and then start typing here and i'll go into my test and i have the first one that is the church name so i'll copy and i'm going to paste that into photoshop like that i'm using the font railway and i'm going to press ctrl a and make sure that it is centered something quite very simple like that from there i'll make a duplicate and drag it right underneath of it and i'm going to select that and quickly change it to present so very simple like that and let's try to make this a little bit very small so let's go for semi bold or bold let's go for bold and that'll be it for the top so the rest of the work is basically going to be at the center that is the actual team so over here i have three day revival so let me just copy that and i'll pick my test again from here i'll pick my test and i'm going to paste it right over there now what i'm going to do is i'm going to select all of it and i'm going to choose a color from this portion so that it can be very brighter so not that very much of yellow but something quite very yellowish okay so how about we change the font over here to one of my favorite poppings so we change this one so that the sizes can be the same and then we're going to press ctrl t to transform it something like that so you take your time to make sure that these sizes are all the same the next one we do is we make a duplicate and then we press ctrl j and make the duplicate and over here we're going to type the cross now let's go ahead and change all of these fonts and we're going to set it to a font called big noodle titling a link for them will be in the description so you can check all of them out now once we do this what we're going to do is we're going to press ctrl t and make sure that it is very big that is the main title or that is the main topic so you make sure that it is very big and then it is in alignment with the three days revival dubbed the cross so basically that's how it reads now from here we're going to add a couple of effects to this like i said i've typed all of them in the test that i'll add to this particular video in the description so you can check them out if you miss any step now in order to make sure that this test or these effects that i'm going to use is going to really work let me just make the sizes very accurate so first of all i'm going to select all of these and i'm going to change the color to white and i'll click ok and then i'm going to select the toggle character here make sure that i'll have my kerning to minus 50 percent so that it gets very closer like that so i can bring it over here don't worry about the orientation afterwards we're going to make sure that it is centered very nicely so let's right click and go to the blending options here just like what i'm going to do you have to follow the same thing if you want to get exactly what i'm going to do right over here so the first thing that we're going to do is the color overlay and the first thing is we're going to set the color to this particular color here so let me copy the color so let's go and choose color overlay here and we're going to paste in the color right there so you paste in that and you click ok and then you're going to set the blend mode to linear bend quite very simple 
and that will be it for the color overlay the next one is going to be the gradient and we have two particular colors which i've already set so let's go into photoshop and select gradient overlay here and over the gradient bar you make sure that you set your gradient to this particular one so i have my gradient over here this is the gradient that i'm using and these are the colors if you want to use that the first one is this particular color and the second color is basically white the first one is position at the zero the location is zero and then the second one the location is 70 and afterwards what you do is you go ahead and click ok from here you make or you change it to reverse right over there and you make sure that the style you select reflected over here and then the last thing i think we're going to do is the angle is going to be 45 so for the angle you're going to choose 45 for it and that'll be it for the gradient the next one we're going to do is the drop shadow so you select the drop shadow and then for the drop shadow everything is normal opacity and then the only thing we're going to do here is the distance where we're going to add eight or we're going to change it to eight and set the opacity to 100 percent and then we're going to select the last one which is the inner shadow okay so for the inner shadow these are the settings the first thing is you make sure that your color is white click ok change your blend mode to normal and then you're going to decrease the opacity a little bit and make sure that you have your distance set to eight all right so let's set this one to 90 degree and then the rest of the thing is basically going to be the same thing now once you have all of these you can then go ahead and click ok and you realize the number of effects we've added onto this one you can click on this little icon here and then you can turn all the effects off and then to make sure that this is centered hold control and select your 3d revivaling in addition to the cross and then you're going to press ctrl g to group that press ctrl a and make sure that it is centered and you can press ctrl t to increase the size a little bit so after we're done with this right underneath of it let's go into the main or let's go into the group and right underneath of it we're going to create a very simple rectangle like this one where we're going to place in the scripture so the rectangle is going to use the color from this particular point all right so we can just zoom in here and then we can then make a duplicate or let's even go for a test tool and inside there we have the scripture so the meaning of the cross and i'm going to copy that and i'm going to paste it right over here so i'm going to select all of this and change the font back to poppins so poppins right over there and we're going to make use of the semi bold here and we bring it inside of the cross or the, the rectangle that we created so i'm going to select all of that and we're going to use the background color for this one and press ctrl t and make sure that it fills the entire rectangle that we've created press ctrl a and make sure that it is centered so let's quickly select these two and give it a bit of space so that it can actually breathe so we can then give this one name as the main title or the main heading so the main title right over there all right so at this point the next thing that we're going to add will be the dates the time and then the venue so to do that we're just going to make use of the rectangle tool again and we're going to create a very simple basic rectangle like this one and we make sure that it is quite close like this but it is in alignment with our rectangle over here you get a point so you take your time to position it and then we want to apply the same effect that we use for the cross on the rectangle so what we do is we go to the main title locate the cross right click on it and we're going to copy the layer style so we've already set it so we don't have to go all over again and set it so we select our rectangle and we right click and paste layer style so basically it just paste everything that we added to the cross to the rectangle and from there we can add our test to it so let's go for our test and then these are the actual test that we're going to place on that so let's select that very quickly and then paste it over here and then we can send it in here press ctrl t and make sure that we open it up a little bit very bigger like this and right from there we can make a duplicate drag it to this very side and we're going to select all of that the next test is going to be the church auditorium that is the location and then we're going to paste it over here select all our tests and we're going to actually use 
this particular test or this particular color over here and click ok so what we can do actually is we can try and decrease the font size like that and make sure that it is right over here and let's try to keep it left aligned and see how that one goes so something like this or perhaps let's try to rearrange it so something like this looks very good so that it sort of occupies the space that we've provided for it so church auditorium All right so the last final things that we're going to do is we're going to add the names of the pastors or the speakers and then we're going to do some little compositioning and then we are through with this video so let's quickly go to the main here the main pictures and open the pastors images and then on top of that we're going to add their name so the first name is coming over here let's go and select his name the first one is pastor salamio grundo and we're going to paste it over here or paste the name over there like that make sure that we position it here so you can transform it a little bit like that you make a duplicate ctrl j and then you send it to this particular place and we're going to select all of that and the next name let's go for this particular one here that is the name for the prophet and we're going to paste it but you realize that this time around it's really not showing so let's right click and go to the blending options and then we can add a bit of drop shadow to it so that it can actually show the pastors image so let's increase the size a little bit and then the opacity let's increase it a little bit like that or perhaps you can just drag it a little bit down here so that it shows and then the last one we're going to do the same thing for the pasta in the middle so that is going to be the main pasta and this is going to be his name so you can select all of that and then you paste it right over there let's try to increase it a little bit like this and since we've added shadows to all of them let's give this particular brother here some of the shadows what do you think and once we're done with that the last thing that we're going to do is the final compositioning so you realize that the images looks very boring so let's try to spice it up a little bit so let's go to the images right over here that is the main let's first of all select the guy right over here so what we're going to do is we're going to add a bit of adjustment to it so the first thing you can do is add a bit of levels and you increase him up a little bit so the levels something like that and you can add a bit of saturation as well so nice so that it blends seamlessly and then we do the same thing for the pasta right over here so you select his layer and then you can add some sort of levels to it so a bit of levels like that and then you can add hue and saturation to him as well and then you can do the same thing for but for the pasta i think it's okay so we can close that chapter and then we can do the final thing for the background so the main background that we added what we're going to do is we're going to press ctrl u and then we're going to add a bit of saturation to it so that it becomes quite deeper and then it blends with the adjustments that we made to the pictures and of course the last thing let's increase the title or the church name here a little bit so that it becomes very big and we can do something about the presence here as well and yes after you take time to group all your works like i've done over here this is exactly what we have and that'll be pretty much it for this video i hope you learned a couple of things from this let me know in the comment section what you learned from this video and what you would want to see next on this channel be sure to check out the other videos that i made with this pasta right over here and learn a lot of things from the videos that i've made in the past thank you so much for sticking around to watch this video please don't forget to like and subscribe share and i'll see you guys in the next video it's innocent here and bye